Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're playing more Mario Tennis. We're actually Villains Incorporated. My name's Miguel. My name's Tokyo. My name's Miguel. Uh, beef Hawaii, uh, bone, boner soldier, uh, Captain fucking New Japan. Um, what was that? It's a uh, pro wrestling joke. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Captain fucking New Japan! Uh, so, so th this will be my last thing on pro wrestling for a while after I say this joke. Um, uh, he, as he's known now in the WWE, Finn, Finn Balor, or... Yeah, F Finn Balor, when he was wrestling as Prince Devitt in Japan, uh, there was the, there's this, like, pretty much co was this, like, comedy relief guy. He was Captain New Japan. Yeah. And I don't, I don't remember, I don't quite remember the context, but pretty much he's saying, like, like, who's gonna beat me? Captain fucking New Japan? And because, you know, they clearly don't care about the censorship issue for Americans right. in, in Japanese wrestling, like, every American there fucking cusses out the ass. And it was, it's just super funny. Just Captain fucking New Japan. Oh, so anyway, so, so this this next discussion point was, it, it kind of stems from the last episode. If you could change America's uh, national sport, what would you make it? Boxing. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I you feel You know me, I, yeah. I, I, I love boxing and everything that is boxing. Boxing is the epitome of combat sports, in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, MMA is great, but um, boxing has a, it, it's just more defined with a... a a wider set of rules that makes it more sport-like than combat-like, but it is still a combat sport. Yeah, I mean, the like, I'll, I'll be honest, I really do enjoy boxing. The only, like, legitimate knock I have against it is, like, it, it's less enjoyable for me now just because, like, how corrupt it often is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, like, that's, that's literally the only knock I have against boxing, really, is that I enjoy it less now because I know how fucking corrupt it is. While as a kid, I could just be like, I like this punch man. <laughs> I mean, basically. This punch man punched the other punch man for the ultimate punching game. But, I mean, I boxing, it, it's it's crazy to see what people can do. Match. And that's something that, that did you it. know, is, is said of a lot of sports. You know, you get someone like, uh, well, literally anyone uh, yeah. from any sport. You know, get a, get a football player. Can I get points? Wow, I'm actually I'm losing so much now. I have to. Yeah, you gotta you gotta speed up. I, I I want top spin. We're only number three. Oh wait, no, we only need to do two more. Right. Um. Yes. Now we should be ranked third, so we gotta be yeah. ranked second. Anyway, we're pretty much we're, we're we're playing this this one match in this episode, which I'm actually I can turn the timer off then. Yeah. We're, yeah. We'll just play it yeah. Through. And then in the uh, in the next one, we're gonna get ha partway through the number one rank, and then apparently that's when the story will start kicking in, since we're already seniors and doubles. Because the story is the story is apparently in doubles. Yeah, the story is in doubles. So, well, we're gonna we're gonna get rank one in singles, I think, in the next yeah. episode. Yeah, that that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. But this and then because yeah, we're gonna get rank one in singles, and then we're gonna we're gonna what's it called? Um, do the story. I, I guess, I suppose. Man, I'm fucking... Yeah, you're eating his entire ass, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep jumping. Keep jumping for me. Jump like a jump... Oh! oh he got me, all right. <laughs> jump and shoot, man! Jump and shoot, man! Jump and um... tennis, man! Fuck. He actually returned that. I'm genuinely surprised. He's got mad dash. Look yeah. at how fast he is. He's the fastest tennis player alive, dude. I wish he would get closer to the net. I think I have to trick him into getting yeah. closer to the net. God damn. Oh. I was trying I was trying to get back a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trick him into fuck! Oh I'm gonna lose now. Yeah, you're gonna lose. I was I was fucking trouncing on him, but Yeah, but me personally, I think if I was actually gonna make a new national sport. It would probably be basketball. Yeah? Yeah. Because, like... Well, that that's both the basketball fan and the Filipino side of me. <laughs> what is with Filipinos and basketball? It's our national sport. Is it? We love the way they dribble up and down the court. <laughs> is that actually no, the national sport? No, I'm pretty sure it is actually the national the sport of the Philippines, yeah. I can double check it now, but, like... 
I mean, uh, Manny Pacquiao, uh, as I say in my Americanized accent, um, he is a player coach and an owner in, uh, in the Philippines as I mean, a basketball everything player. everything Pacquiao does does not surprise me. Yeah. Uh, How do you properly pronounce his name? Pacquiao. Pacquiao? Pacquiao. Huh. Well, like... Arnis. Oh, a marshal. It's apparently Arnis, which is... What a... What the fuck is Arnis? And how do I learn to play it? Uh, and it's, when it's a, did it's Nintendo a make a game about the it? The sport actually emphasizes weapon-based fighting, which is done using knives, bladed weapons, sticks, and various improvised weapons. This is fucking rad. Yeah, I thought how it was basketball. Heard about this? How have I not? I was born there! <laughs> I thought... Oh! He's Damn. eating your asshole. I thought it was basketball. But basketball was introduced to the Philippines by the YMCA early in the American colonial period of 1898. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's the most popular. But apparently it's not the national sport. I thought it was. Well, it's like baseball's not the most popular sport anymore. Not anymore, yeah. But it is still uh, the national sport. Honestly, I'm surprised it hasn't become football. I am as well. Like... Like, that, that's also something that I, like, I enjoy less about football now. Fuck, like, fuck the league. Like, fuck, uh, not Donald Glover. <laughs> uh, why am I forgetting the fucking, uh, the, the commissioner of the NFL? He's a fucking, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm not a fan of... Roger Goodell. I'm not a fan of sports organizations in general. Most uh, of them really suck. I mean, the NBA is really good. Like, that's considered, like, the best of all it's the, considered like... considered the best, but they still kind of, like, fuck with their players. Uh, you know? well... Not... Well, Adam Silver, who's the commissioner now, he was, uh... He was the uh, previous commissioner, David Cern's deputy commissioner. Like, uh, Adam Silver has is being, like, we need to reduce the schedule. Yeah. Like, we, like or we need to find a way to space out these, like, like five games and four nights and, like consecutive back-to-backs and shit. Like, he definitely cares about the fucking players. Uh, David Stern, say what you want about him. Like, for, he was a pretty good commissioner. He did some questionable things, but for the most part, I think he was he's better than Roger Goodell. Yeah? Yeah. But then again, like, I'm pretty sure I would be a better NFL commissioner than Roger Goodell. And this isn't even me. Like, coming as a Pats fan when Brady got suspended. Like, this is me being like, he's just not a good, like, he he's an asshole. Like, I think he's a piece of shit. Like, my dad and I, like, we agree on a lot of things in sports, but the thing we agree on the most, like, Roger Goodell sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, personal opinions to yeah. each their own. I, I have no stake in this yeah. race, you know. I mean, and if there's one thing that I'm glad that is actually a very popular opinion is that Roger Goodell sucks. Fair enough. I, I just don't like him. I don't like what he does with the league and, and whatnot. And I don't know. I just... Yeah, I, that, that, those are my sports opinions. You know, parse from them what you will. And if you don't agree with them, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a like, share with your friends so they can also laugh at my sports opinion. And then uh, remember that we are now officially a tennis channel. Um, <laughs> Only tennis. Only tennis-based games from now on. Yeah. Well, no. The, the funny thing is we could totally do that. We could get away with that for a while. We, I think we, we could get away with we're that not forever. Going yeah. Well, we're not going to say anything we can't, we, <laughs> we can't guarantee. But <laughs> it will ah, likely fuck. not be a thing. Chances are it won't be a thing. I mean, I have no plans to run a tennis-based YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, if, if I could... Like, what what sport, video game, simulation, or arcade... If you could base an entire channel off of it, what would it be? I mean, realistically, or...? Like, what would you actually do if given the chance? Because realistically, I feel like... The, like, the wrestling games are the best you could do that with. Because, like... No, I mean, there's there's stuff like Dota and League that people do. No, not, not like eSports. 
like, like, um, I'm not gonna call them real sports, but like, um, like non esports, because there there are already like, what what would you do in like for like a for a non esports like kind of channel? And I guess technically simulation, but like, yeah. I'm also I'm also including like. NBA Jam and like the more arcadey stuff like that. Like, Rocket does it have League. to be a sport game or? Well, like, what sport would you base a channel off of? Is what I'm asking you. Oh, okay. Um... Like, cause you could do basketball and then do like NBA Jam, or you could do like, I don't know. You, you like... could actually do boxing. Yeah, you... Th there's yeah. enough out there. Like, you could do all the Punch Out games, all the Fight Night games, and then they're always coming out with, and then all the shitty boxing games. Get fucking Punch Club. Punch Club. Yeah, technically Punch Club counts. Yeah? Well, yeah, because even technically you could do, like, the MMA games. Very technically. Because there, there are boxing yeah. in the MMA games. Shit, you, you, could, you could do a melee weapon, or... Yeah, you could do a fist, a fist weapons only run of Dark Souls. <laughs> like, yeah, like... There's, there's a lot that yeah, you There's can do. a lot of technicality. You can do a fist only run of all the Fallout games. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, the reason I would probably do wrestling is because there's, like, so many games out there. Like, they're coming out with a new Fire Pro Wrestling game, which everyone's fucking jazzed for. Yeah. Like, um. And then there's also, like, all the wrestling games with, like, dumb story modes or, like, the GM modes and stuff. Like, fucking, uh, was it, like, VGCW? Yeah. You showed me that. I, I can't believe you showed me that, and I didn't figure that out on my own. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, like, I'm pretty sure that's still going. Like, that's super popular. Like, as far as wrestling channels go. Right. And then even stuff like New Legacy, Inc. Like, I don't watch them, but, like, they're, they're based entirely off of the wrestling games, and they get, like, actual wrestlers and wrestling personalities to, like, see their games and shit. Probably the other one I would do is, is like, football. Football would be really easy to do. Yeah. Soccer, I know I know there are oh, yeah. channels that do. Yeah, uh, like FIFA. Soccer or European football or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Well, I mean, technically it's football and American football. But, like, it's fucking soccer to us. Eat our entire Americanized assholes. Well, <laughs> like, I mean, it, it's like... I mean, yes, it was the original football, right? Yeah. Um, but... American football doesn't have two names. Yeah. And we also play football that is yeah, soccer, soccer in America. We, yeah, we have soccer and football. And and football has two names, but American football doesn't. I'm pretty sure we so gave it, it two names because we called it soccer. Um, actually, Americans didn't invent the name soccer. Do you know where it came from or should I look it up? I believe it was the UK. Which is weird because don't they usually call it football or footy? Or am uh, I just stereotyping? I think the footy's UK? an Australian thing. It might even um, be a Canadian thing, actually. No, but it, it, I, I do know that America didn't invent the name soccer for the game. Um, I believe it was. Yeah, be... Britain, approximately 200 years ago. Yep. Yeah. Um, so if you rag on Americans for that, uh, blame our mom and dad, Britain. Yeah, like, actually. Um, because. 200 years ago is right around the time that we came around. <laughs> yeah, and then the the way we got football, because we shortened it from rugby football. Yes. Yeah. You know, we, we like to play a little American footy. You know what? Petition to only refer to American football slash football as, as Merca footy. Petition. I'm not. Gonna no sign one's it. gonna sign it. I'm not. Gonna I sign won't it. sign it. But <laughs> I want to make gonna the. Write it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to come up with the idea so someone else will. I don't want anything to do with it outside of that. Oh wow. yeah, like fucking what? What's her name? Uh, Fangs. I think she calls herself. Like she's an entirely. Like she got famous off of like FIFA. I mean, fuck. There's tra There's channels that do entirely. Like, Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah. And, like, that's all they do. I mean, I feel like that one is more likely to, like... 
like those weird dumb simulator games because it's such a weird niche thing that people are like oh I want to look at this thing I can't believe there's a cha an yeah, entire channel dedicated to it. Yeah, I guess it's like stuff like YouTube and like yeah those weird like sections of YouTube that are like small communities that just exist like the weird of rabbit the hole the like the weird rabbit hole of YouTube. Like, well, I, I consider the weird rabbit hole of YouTube to be a different thing. I, I'm just talking about like communities that are like hyper specific. Like even the Dark Souls community is very no, it's very specific. And there's enough content of Dark Souls on YouTube, um, and they all know each other, and they all yeah. interact with each other, and they all do things. And I mean, they may not necessarily like each other, but they all all know each other and interact. Yeah. Because there's the PokeTuber community, community, and nobody fucking likes Velisify. Except his fans. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> nobody fucking likes Velisify. Well, like, so, I'm saying, like, I, I usually don't like to get into the whole, like, YouTuber drama shit. Yeah. But, like, is actually a piece of shit, and when he's proven wrong, he's always like, Oh, prove me wrong. You can't. No one proves me wrong. I don't mind being wrong. But then it's because he blocks them. <laughs> and, and also, like, he he's like... No, I'm not going to get into that one, because that's a whole other can of worms that I don't want to open. Okay. Because then that gets into the bigger issue of the whole Charlottesville shit. But, like... um, But, yeah, he's, he, like... He's not even a guy who posts, like, unpopular opinions and people get mad at him. He's just, like, a douchebag and a jerk. Mm. And, like, tries to call people out for things he does. And he's be like, oh, I can't believe this person did this. Uh, when someone literally was like, dude, you made, like, seven videos on nothing. Of this same topic. Like, yeah. you can't call somebody out for making two videos on it when you made fucking seven. And, like, I don't know. There's something, like... Content creators on YouTube bother me a lot. Uh, We're content creators. Yeah. I'm not saying all content creators. But I just was, I was leading into uh, content creators that bother me a lot are typically the ones that go off of uh, current events. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know. It bothers me when someone like, uh, I don't know, Markiplier or... Uh, I don't think the Grumps have done it. The Grumps, the only time I've ever seen them do it, and they didn't make a video off of it, but they did it in their uh, Dead Rising 2 series, um, where they talked about the FCC and net neutrality and all yeah. that. And um, look, obviously, there's there's a right side in that yeah. to be found if you're not a businessman. Um, and I'm on that side. Yeah, there's there's a morally right but, side, and then there's a business side. Um, is, it's is it's when content it. creators create videos about recent events uh such as you know stuff like uh stuff like the 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 issue with racism and yeah all that that has happened in charlottesville um well is happening around yeah. the world but is brought to brought you know, to light yeah point the, the current issue is in charlottesville it's um, charlottesville right not charlestonville because uh, that's south carolina i believe yeah. it is charlottesville no that's Char happening. charleston's in south carolina but yeah charlottesville we did it. Um, do you want to do you want to finish this point and then? Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll just finish up this point yeah. and then we'll uh... we'll end the episode. We'll get about partway through the finals, the final one. Jesus God! I think you might as well just put it into angle, angle or speed. I I need these points. I I have yeah. to get them. I'll catch up on the other things later, I guess. Um. Anyway. But yeah, finishing up that point, it, it bothers me when content creators use uh, the pain and suffering and sadness in the world to get clicks. As well, like as a soapbox to get yeah. clicks. And it's like, yes, you're a respected member of a community, um, and you have opinions, and you're free to share them. Uh, but like, keep in mind the sensitivity of the subject. Yeah. Like, People like in this most recent incident, somebody died, and I I don't care how you feel about that. I care that somebody died, and that sucks. Yeah, and their family is hurting, and people cared about that person. Even if you're the biggest piece of shit in the world, probably someone somewhere gives a shit about you. Yeah, somebody. 
you, you probably don't even know them, but you they might share the same ideals as you. And like, you can use that person as a martyr for your cause. You can use that person as a point on a video, um, like we're fucking doing now. But in the end, there is pain and suffering, and there is a family that is going through that. And that's what fucking matters. Is that those people? We do everything we can to ease their pain, and not exploit the death of a human being. Yeah, I mean that that one's a whole nother issue entirely. Because then we're gonna have to get into the fucking the new age of media and clickbait and shit. But that that's for another time off camera. If you somehow ever meet us in person, talk to us about it. You don't know. Well, you know what he looks like. You don't know what I look like unless you went on my channel, in which you do know what I look like. Goodbye! Bye. <laughs>